green-eyed monster. French's jaw dropped when UK and the oil tycoon Shell sailing in the same boat. Shell's plans to relocate follow a number of major blows to the company in the Netherlands. The move is being considered a win for Brexit hit London. Brexit Britain may have just paved the way for Frexit and added momentum to calls for France to leave the European Union after the French admitted jealousy over oil giant Shell's major shift to the UK. The oil giant has announced it will take up a new tax residency and remove Royal Dutch from its name. The relocation follows a Dutch court order to slash its emissions by 2030. In April, a Dutch court ordered that the major carbon emitter must reduce its emissions by 45% by 2030 in what was seen as a big win for climate activists. The country's largest pension fund also announced that it was ending its investments in fossil fuel companies in October. In a huge win for Brexit Britain, Royal Dutch Shell is scrapping its dual share structure and moving its head office to Britain from the Netherlands. The company is dropping Royal Dutch from its name, part of its identity since 1907, to become Shell plc. The firm has been embroiled in a row with Dutch authorities over the country's 15% dividend withholding tax on some of its shares, which makes them less attractive for investors. The new single structure with all shares under British law means none of its shares would be under this tax and will also enable the oil giant to quickly strike sale and acquisition deals. UK Business Minister Kwasi Kwarting writing on Twitter that he welcomed the news Shell is proposing to relocate its Group HQ to the United Kingdom as part of their plans to accelerate the transition to clean energy. The Dutch government responded by saying it was unpleasantly surprised by Shell's decision to move its head office from The Hague to London. The move is seen as a huge vote of confidence in the City of London following the UK's departure from the EU, which triggered a shift in billions of euros in daily share trading from the English capital to Amsterdam. French presidential candidate and Frexiteer François Lino, who leads the Republican People's Union, UPR, insisted the decision from Shell is further evidence the predicted Brexit apocalypse has not materialised. He wrote on Twitter, Prophets of the apocalypse had predicted that Brexit would cause an exodus of the world's largest corporations. After Boeing and Google, Shell proves the opposite. Mr. Aslino also posted a video of himself speaking on Up TV, in which he said Shell's decision to move to the UK is a slap in the face to the Europeanists that deserves to be praised. The Frexiteer said, It's funny because what did we hear in 2016 to terrorise the British about the fact that leaving the European Union would mean the end? There was an article in Le Monde in 2016 which explained that because of Brexit, the Netherlands wanted to attract British firms. I remind you that Macron said he was preparing to receive all the people from the city that were going to leave the UK to come and take refuge in France and that thanks to the EU they would be saved from the apocalypse then nothing. He added, I have already explained the incredible propaganda we've heard on this subject. I have explained there would be no apocalypse and that the UK would be fine, even with less unemployment than us and now with a huge diplomatic victory with the US and Australia on the submarine deal. In addition to Google and Boeing, now this giant, Shell, has decided to move its headquarters to the UK. It's a slap in the face to the Europeanists that deserves to be praised. Generation Frexit President Charles Henri Galois, a leading advocate of France leaving the EU, said all the prophecies of the apocalypse of the Europeanists are ridiculed. Commenting on the move from Shell to move to the UK, he tweeted, Unilever had already done the same at the end of 2020. Decidedly, all the prophecies of the apocalypse of the Europeanists are ridiculed. Of the apocalypse.